Hey, what's up, everybody? Demanian here. Today I'll be starting a new series called App Fights, and today it's going to be Aurora version 3.3.5 versus Alarm Clock version 2.4.5. These are both great uh, applications for your Mac, which allow you to set an alarm, which will wake your computer from sleep, and play an iTunes playlist of your choice. So we're going to dig into both of them. They're going to be battling it out the whole time, and we're going to see which one's better. So what they have in common is that, like I said, they can both set alarms for your computer, which will wake your computer from sleep. On both of them, you can set multiple alarms. You get to choose your iTunes playlist. You get to choose the time and the date. You can set for uh, every single day for a certain time, or you can set for a certain date ahead. And as you can see, I have different ones here. You can have different multiple ones. Uh, they're both free. I'm going to the preferences here real quick. They both can launch at login. Okay. Here's the fading. Okay, and this one has the easy wake. They're kind of the same. Initial volume, final volume, and how long it takes to get there. Your advanced options. Uh, they both work with the Apple remote. And updates. They both can check for updates now. So that's what they both have in common. And now we'll get into the differences. So in Aurora, you have a, a, a full customizable toolbar which you don't have an alarm clock too. You have the capsule button up here and you have hotkey support as well. Um, you have this right here what is called a fall asleep sheet which allows you to listen to music or watch a movie and you can set a certain time so after this time um, you can have it put your computer to sleep, shut it down or log it out or you can do however many songs and we'll do a test run before this video is out. You can have it fade out and yeah so we're gonna cancel that for now uh, here's your playlist selector. So it has full hotkey support. So I'll hit Command P for my playlist selector. Um, we can toggle the alarm properties down here. Command I. Also right here. These tabs down here all support hotkeys as well. You got Command One. We're in right now. And then two, three, four, five, back to one. Um, Aurora can also launch an application when it comes on. Uh, Alarm Clock 2 cannot do that. Um, Aurora also works with ITV, so if you have ITV on your Mac, it can start your ITV for you. The, to me, this is the biggest feature about Aurora that Alarm Clock cannot do. Um, they both wake your computer from sleep, but Aurora can actually turn your computer on if your computer is shut down. So you just have to enable automatic login for your user. Make sure you don't have a password on your screensaver. If you're on a laptop uh, make sure you don't close the lid and up in the preferences it'll actually give you warnings right here so it says warn if screensaver password is enabled warn if wake up is not set up so to do that we'll show you how to set up the automatic login so you want to go to your system preferences you want to go to accounts okay we're going to go into login options you need your administrator password to unlock it Okay, automatic login, make sure you just choose your user right there, okay? And then you can lock it back up. Aurora also has the purple circle, okay, which is for help. If you got any questions or anything, you need any answers, just click the purple circle and it will help you. So here's the purple circle, okay? It says things you need to know, disable the screensaver, don't close the lid, and you can shut your computer down and refresh playlists, okay? Um, Aurora will refresh the playlist for you, but it only does it like two, three days, every two to three days. So you just alarm and refresh playlist. And again, you can do the hotkey command F. Um, you only really need to do that if you added a new song to a playlist or something. Um, Aurora does have all these options up here, which you would have in a lot of applications. It does also have the dock icon down here on the bottom and it also has a little digital clock right here that shows you what time the next alarm is. So it says 7.30 a.m. and it does the same thing up here in your menu bar, 7.30 a.m. And from up here you can open Aurora, disable the menu item. In your Aurora preferences you want to make sure you have enable alarms when Aurora isn't running checked. Okay, If you don't have that checked, when you quit Aurora the alarm's not going to go off. Okay, So then it's not going to turn your computer on from shutdown. And I like to have it show status in the menu bar. That's your choice. There's your ITV volume control right there. I don't have ITV, so I can't really show you that. Um, and it does have a fallback player, okay? Alarm Clock 2 does not rely on iTunes to work. Okay, that means 
if a lot if iTunes does not work, I can still use Alarm Clock 2 as an alarm. Um, Aurora does rely on iTunes to work, but it also has a fallback player. Okay, so it's a bell chime that'll go off if iTunes doesn't come on. You can give iTunes more time to play if you'd like. I believe it's 20 seconds if you don't have this checked, and then 40 seconds if you do. Okay. Alarm clock two. Um, you got the keyboard behavior. You can just stop or snooze it. Um, it also has a timer, and it also has a stopwatch. Okay. Um, I'm not really big on the timer. Um, it's just a timer. You can see it's timing, and you can change the time while you're while it's going. Pause it, reset it, start it, and edit it. I do like the stopwatch, however, because it does have the lap feature. So you can see each lap, how long each lap was, and you can see what time you started it at. Pause it, reset it, start it. So that's pretty cool. It does have the stopwatch. Um, alarm clock 2 is very simple, very easy to use. Um, the only thing you have is the menu bar icon. You don't get any options over here. You don't get an uh, icon down here in the dock. Okay, This is what you get. You don't really have any hotkeys for alarm clock too, so you can't go into the preferences by hitting command comma. Nothing really big about alarm clock that Aurora doesn't have. It it does have a feature called kill alarm, which if you go on vacation, you have your alarm set and you forget to turn it off, um, it's not going to go on. It's not going to go off all day long and annoy your neighbors. After however long you set it, alarm clock two will actually turn it off for you. Kill alarm after 90 minutes. You can set it from 15 minutes or 90 minutes. There's your snooze, snooze duration and your alarm volume, which we can also do over here. It'd be Command S, but that is for my Quicksilver. So we're just going to go Window, and you see Command S, Snooze Sheet, all the snooze stuff right here. iTunes, the duration, the display. You can have the display reduce brightness and modify duration after snooze. So I'm going to show you the fall asleep sheet real quick. We'll do iTunes. We'll do six songs. Have it fade in after 30 seconds. Reduce display brightness. So what you want to do is click Start Countdown. See it says Waiting for iTunes. So we have to open up iTunes ourselves. Okay. So as soon as I play a song, it says Falling Asleep After Six Songs. I click the next button, it says Falling Asleep After Five Songs. Um, if you want to cancel it, you want to come over here and hit, click this X. Okay, Don't just quit iTunes, because if you quit iTunes, it thinks that you want to run the process faster. So it will actually put your computer to sleep or shut it down. So you can be listening to music or watching a movie while you're going to sleep then it'll shut your computer down for you and then in the morning it'll turn it back on for you so that's awesome so just go over the main features a real quick cap um, Aurora has ITV support um, you can turn your computer on from shutdown it has a fall asleep sheet it does have a backup player although it relies on iTunes to work it has full hotkey support uh, you can launch an application from it um, it can be used with Apple scripts it has a purple circle for help and it also has a little repeat and try out over here so you can do the repeat and try out which I'll do the try out real quick um, alarm clock 2 has a timer stopwatch uh, doesn't rely on iTunes it has a kill alarm feature and the easy wake up feature so I'm gonna do this try out we can do command T it'll try it out you see fading in for 20 seconds you saw it opened up iCal for me Here's the iTunes full screen visualizer. And if you listen, you can hear my music coming in slowly, just fading in. So it does work with the Apple remote. So, so there it is, folks. Uh, my first app fight video, Aurora version 3.3.5, has smashed the one clock 2.4.5. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you feel this was an unfair app fight, just comment down below why. And we'll, I will consider doing a rematch.